so I got my package. It's lighter than expected. It's a very lighter package than expected, but should be a couple of, uh, I know what's in here. It should be a couple of, uh, some, some music and then some, and then, uh, some Oracle cards, but I want to open them up so I could, uh, show everybody, um, Although I'm not sure if some of the, you know, the imagery is going to be good for Facebook. So I might not show, like, at least one or two of the things that I, I got. But, um, yeah, so I got, uh, I, I think this is a guy's name is Juice World. I got Juice World. I uh, got Juice World's album. I got uh, Kid... Cuddy, I got Kid Cuddy, um, and then I got this one, which I'm gonna, I'll just try to block it, but I got, uh, Trippy, Trippy, Trip Red, or Trippy Red, so I got his album as well, so, um, which, which, they're all, you know, they're all parental advisory, because I don't like, I don't like it when people basically, you know, kind of, like, block out the lyrics, but, so I got those, and I got these. This is the the this what's in here now. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But um, it was something that I, I wanted from Hay House, and Hay House didn't have it in stock because when Hay when they went on sale in Hay House, everybody bought them out of bought them out of stock, so they didn't, they necessarily didn't have them. And they only had like like nine of nine nine of them left in stock on Amazon or something like that. So. I, fi I finally got the new Oracle cards, the African Goddess Rising Oracle cards by uh, Ab 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 Ablola Al Adams. Ablola, I, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce her name right. Ablola Adams. She's a, 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 new, a new upcoming Hay House author that's really, really popular. Actually, she had a couple of books already written and stuff that are already out of print because she's so popular and stuff that... Some of her previous books are already out of print and stuff, and you can't get them. I mean, I already I had them on my wish list at one point, and I now can't get them. So I just ordered her new book, you know, recently in the Hay House order, um, but I wasn't able to get the cards. I ended up getting cards for another a Hay House author, which I like, um, whose name is Kyle Gray. You know, I got his new card deck he just came out with, because he came out with these gateway activation type cards, but... Um, I wanted to get her new card deck, so I finally got her new card deck too. So, um, you know, there are there are other things from Hay House and stuff. I do I do want you know I do want some things from Hay House and stuff that are probably on my wish list. I think I think sometimes you can get them cheaper on Amazon depending on if you know where to look. And then I mean, when it comes to the cards and stuff, you're better off trying to get a sale on. And most likely, you know, unless you can unless they don't have them on on Hay House, because they're either sold out or something, you're most likely better off getting the cards from Hay House, because sometimes during their holiday sales and stuff, you get like 40 to 50% off the deck, and it's like half off a $20 deck, and you can get it for like $10, and if you spend like, if you spend like $25 or so, or a little over $25, you get free shipping, you know, so that, that that's what I like about Hay House, you know, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, kind of like Amazon, too, you spend, you know, over, over over twenty five dollars on Amazon, you get free shipping. But it, it's very rare that like card decks and stuff will go down half price or something on Amazon. But I mean, this this deck I really wanted, and she's a really up she's a really like popular Hay House author. Um, there was a, there's actually a group a group or an event or something I I had liked on uh, I had liked on Facebook. I don't know if I missed the event or not because the last couple nights I'd just been really exhausted and stuff. But she was she's doing some type of event on uh, Facebook and I I kind of posted that I was interested in that. And then there was another event too by somebody else. I think it was Kyle Gray or the Hay House authors. I don't know. It was like a bunch of a bunch of couple different events regarding spirituality and you know the oracle cards and stuff like that. So, but yeah, no, I got my, um, uh, I got my, uh, my CDs, you know, I got my CDs, so I'm good. I, I can't wait to put them in. Um, I got this, I got this, this Kid Cuddy album because, um, you know, this, this one actually has a song that features Willow Smith, you know, I do like, I, I, I was also, it was either going to be this album with the song with Willow Smith I was going to get by him. Or I was gonna get the one with uh, the, the, his song, "The Pursuit of Happiness." You know, when he, you know, which he has a song called "The Pursuit of Happiness," which I really like as well. 
But I got I ended up getting this one with Willow Smith on it. So which is good. It has over nineteen tracks, you know, so it's gonna be a good it's gonna be some good listening, you know. Um but yeah, I got I got some hip hop albums. I'm I'm excited. Yes, for those who don't know, I listen to hip hop and R and B as well. So uh got kid kid cut I'm I'm probably butchering his name. Cut Cuddy or something like that. Trippy, Trippy, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, Trip Trip Red or Trippy Red, and uh, Juice World. So, I think his name is Juice World, but um, but that's what I got. I mean, I have a couple of uh, of, of the other new new upcoming rappers and stuff on, uh, on, on my wish list. I've been adding a lot of the, some of the newer, you know, some of the newer rappers. Although some people say some of the newer music is crap because they don't really know how to... You know, people just, people just, you know, make them, you know, music musicians because they're popular, not because they have talent. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I tend to like a little bit of today's music, too, in hip-hop and R&B, but, um, I mean, I, I, some of the older stuff was good, too. You know, some of the older generations, like in the 90s, like, you know, you got Tupac and Biggie and stuff like that. That's really good. You know, uh, TLC, you know, and stuff like that, and... You know, some of the old school stuff um, is really good as well. But I do like some of the new generation, you know, hip hop and R&B. So I'm actually I got surprised because I didn't get a notification on my on my um, on my wish list or my uh, phone that my uh, my package was going to come today. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get these and I'm excited to, um, you know, get, you know, get, you know, get what I need, actually, you know, the, the, you know, I'll get, I'll get what I ordered, but, you know, the, the, the other thing is, too, is what I'm trying, I'm, I stumble over my words, because I'm really excited, I just need to slow down for a minute here, but, the other thing is, too, is that I got all, I got all of Kyle Gray's Oracle cards, I have all the Kyle Gray decks, so I have everything from his older deck to his newer deck, because Kyle Gray was one of the more popular, you know, popular people in Hay House that really, kind of spoke to me around the time that I was following him and Dorian Virtue. I mean, Dorian Virtue's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, you know, but kind of left the whole New Age thing because she wanted to become Christian and felt like Christianity wouldn't let her, you know, kind of continue to make cards and continue to put out, you know, put out things like that. Granted, I still get, you know, you know, you gently used, you know, Dorian Virtue books and stuff for some of her spirituality stuff that she has done for spirituality in a new age, but she's kind of, you know, she kind of said, oh, I'm Christian and stuff, and kind of just threw it all to the wind, so, um, you know, I mean, I, I'm, you can be a Christian, and you can still, you know, do, do oracle cards and stuff, I mean, some people might have a, have an issue with me and want to challenge that, but I, I'm, I'm saying you can, as far as my, my beliefs, but, you know, um, just wanted to share that. I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited. I couldn't show I couldn't show Trip Trip Red or Trippy Red's album because I'm afraid of like the imagery. But I can show you that right there. The whole thing of what what it says. Um, you know I'm afraid because I'm afraid of the imagery. The imagery is kind of like really like trip like trip like an acid trip type thing, and I'm afraid that Amazon might you know kind of I mean or that uh, Facebook might consider it you know. Uh, inappropriate or, you know, nudity or something. So I don't want to show that, you know. Um, no, but I'm excited. I, you know, for those who don't think I listen to hip hop and R&B, here's your proof. Here, here's, here's, here's your, you know, your Facebook proof, you know. And I got, and I got these for me because I, I barely buy music anymore because, you know, Walmart doesn't, you know, Walmart doesn't really sell a lot of the music I like anymore. They, they kind of took away all their CDs and replaced stuff with vinyl, you know, nobody, they thought probably nobody was buying CDs and stuff. And I, right when I was at the, at the hot prime, prime of buying CDs, I mean, some of the best CDs I bought was for $5, I got the best of Alice in Chains. I got my Led Zeppelin from, I got a Led Zeppelin two disc set from Walmart. I got, uh, I got a Pearl Jam two disc set. You know, I got, I got things like that at Walmart. I mean, Walmart was still pretty good with the music at one point, but, um, but I, I got these, so, I mean, I, you know, I, I could also go to Target tomorrow and see something I like there for music. I don't know. I mean, 
I have a couple options. I was gonna put myself on like a one or two book limit, you know, due to due to not not just not just due to the fact that I got a lot of books and stuff coming already, but due to the fact of my actual budget and stuff and me wanting to get, you know, get other things done during the month, that I'm only gonna put myself on a one or two book limit. There's there's a couple other things I could do. I could still pick up an album with that if I wanted to, or I could still pick up like a collectible if I wanted to. If I if I felt I had enough money or so, I could still do that. But um, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily sure about, um, you know, not necessarily sure, you know, not necessarily just, I don't know, but, um, not necessarily sure how tomorrow is going to go, but I'm going to just try to enjoy these. I might even pop these in my CD player soon. Pick one of these and pop these in my CD player. My CD player should play these. You know, these should these should actually work, and my CD player should play these. My old my old CD player when you when you got a new CD and stuff and you put it in there, sometimes it wouldn't read the CD and stuff. It had a hard time reading it, so it almost made it look like it wasn't registering or it wasn't able to like play the CD and actually read the CD. So I, I for several times I thought I thought there was some things wrong with the CD and the CD was defective but really it was just that, that my player was almost over 10 years old my CD player originally that I had was over 10 years old and needed to be replaced because it had some tech you know some technical issues so um you know, I, I, I granted I think some of those same CDs I thought weren't weren't working before now work now so um so I'm I'm glad about that so I got these you know I got these here and um Gonna put pop these in later, so I'm excited, and I got you know my Oracle deck. But just wanted to come online and say that really quick. I was finishing up lunch. I had a bur I'm having a burrito for lunch. Got a couple of burritos yesterday, and I was gonna I don't, I was almost thinking oh I was gonna have one or two burritos yesterday. I ended up only having one burrito for lunch yesterday. I mean they're pretty filling. They're pretty big and they're pretty like filling and stuff. So I don't know if you know if you really want to eat two, but kind of debating on whether I want to eat the other one right now because I I mean I have like two the ones I have today are a little bit different than the ones I got before. The ones the ones I got before, the ones I was eating probably when I went after I got back from grocery shop and had like rice in them. It had like chipotle, it had like chipotle salsa, rice and peppers. And it had like uh, meat and cheese or something like that. Um, this one in particular, in particularly, has just like beans, beans and cheese. So they're both very, very good. And I actually kind of want to eat the other, the other bean and cheese burrito that I got. I mean, I bought, I pretty much bought them out this time, but um, probably want to eat the other one and just kind of chill for a little bit. Uh, go back to posting the oldies and stuff for now. But the guy just knocked on my door and surprised me. I thought it was a neighbor coming to confront me or something, or I, I don't know what it was. But I don't. I mean, I, I was kind of kind of scared when somebody knocked on my door, and I don't normally expect visitors and stuff. And I didn't get you know a notification from Amazon saying, "Hey, we were gonna we were gonna deliver your package early because this was supposed to come Monday." It said it said my Amazon package was supposed to come Monday. Next thing you know, I'm here having a good old time and just enjoying life, and the next. You know, bam, knock on the door. There's a package in front of my door. I get my Amazon package. So, um, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I'm going to get my Hay House package tomorrow early. My Hay House package says something about coming on, on Tuesday after my birthday, but it might actually come before. So, um, my Hay House package actually has her, has her book, has her book that I ordered, her new, her newest book. And it has another book I, I wanted to read, and it has the uh, has the Oracle deck, the new Oracle deck by uh, Kyle Gray. So um, that that's what that has in it. But I, I will I'm, I will show you more into detail when I get a chance. But um, and of course I've already shared these, and I already I already shared what I was going to order. But I feel you know I probably I probably should not do that. I probably should just wait and do like an unpacking video where. You know, I can just, you know, do an unpacking video on my packages and show you what I got, you know. Be, be kind of cool to, see, to kind of surprise you and say, oh, I got that, you know. But this is kind of, this is partly an early birthday present to myself. I had a little bit of the money and I said, you know what, I'm going to get a couple albums and get those cards. <clears throat> I, I originally wanted to get two pieces of jewelry. There's two pieces of jewelry I want, but... They're like they're almost like twenty dollars a piece, but I, I want there's two pieces of jewelry I want on my wish list, and one's an one has like an amethyst stone, and one's kind of like a uh, um 
in Oregon. One's kind of like an Oregon stone. I think it was called Oregon, I think it is. It's like an, like an energy stone, like an Oregon energy stone, but it has the design of like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, um, symbol. I, f I forget what you call that. Um, it's like the symbol for, um, but I, I forget, I forget, I forget the actual name for it. I know, I know there's like a symbol for it. I know I have a, have like a wooden plaque, which I got hanging up in my house, but I'm trying to think of the actual name for, I, I feel like there should be a name for the actual symbol other than, um, but, um, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to get offline. I got some things to do. Um, yeah, just chilling out at home today, so. Got some things to look forward to this 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 uh this uh this week this this weekend apparently so hey you know but. Mm -hmm.